Hi, my name's Logan, and my two words are content and driven. So, growing up, I went to church pretty much every week, basically because my mom said I had to, and I didn't have much of a choice. Now, I didn't really learn anything because I didn't really pay attention. Uh, I still knew who God was, knew who Jesus was. I believed in both of them. But other than that, I didn't really care too much, and I was content with that, um, my first word. And that's pretty much how it was my whole uh, life up until about senior year of high school when I started to get involved with a new group of guys. These guys were all Christians, um, and I saw something different in their life. I saw that they were living their life each and every day for God and, and trying to do what He wanted them to do. And I, re I really wanted to learn more about that. So when I was heading off to college, one of them suggested that I check out Crew on campus. So I went and got involved with a community group Bible study. And throughout that first semester on campus, I started to really learn what it meant that Jesus had died on the cross for me. And I realized that if I only gave up my life to him and accepted him as my savior, uh, my sins would be forgiven uh, and that I could have a personal relationship with God. And it really showed me just how much God truly loved me and truly loved everyone. And that was just absolutely amazing to me. I thought that was so cool and uh, just incredible that God would do that. So all that stuff that I just talked about, about how God really loves me and cares for me, gave me so many reasons to do what God wanted of me uh, with joy and passion and to s stop trying to disobey Him and go against Him. Um, that's one of the really big things that I've learned is that everything isn't about me. Uh, it's not about my comfort and my glory. It's about God and His glory. Uh, so that's why since I've given my life to Jesus, I've discovered that uh, there's a lot more to life than just being content or comfortable uh, I've become driven, my second word, uh, driven to spread the gospel, driven to show God's love to others, and uh, most of all, driven to not be content, uh, especially with my status as a sinner. Now, that doesn't mean that I never find myself falling back into a place where uh, I'm comfortable or I just want to be comfortable, but uh, it, it helps remind me that when I do see myself uh, just stuck in a place where I, I think I might be happy and uh, but I'm not really benefiting God's kingdom. Uh, it helps me to remember that there's a lot more important things than me uh, and, and what I want, that I need to really be striving to take risks and challenge myself for God's glory. So that's how Jesus has changed me, uh, from content to driven. Thanks for listening. Those are my two words.